hello guys welcome to my channel i am so excited about this topic here because um this um really helped me through um this really helped me in this pregnancy so um i don't know if you guys um remember in one of my um video i was talking about some fruits that can um induce um labor and can cause miscarriage and i told you guys about like when i had my daughter's pregnancy i was feeling like i was gonna see my period like it was so close for me to see my period and um thankfully i did not see my period <laughs> thank god because um i was taking you know eating some fruits and um some fruits that was um not good for me at the time in the first trimester there are some fruits you have to avoid which i did not know i was you know i was thinking probably i was getting some nutrient into my body and all of that I did not know that honey i was causing harm to myself but this pregnancy i did not feel none of that so i got to um realize that i was um eating some fruits that I was not supposed to have and those fruits can cause like um uterus contraction and cause miscarriage i did not know but it was god that helped me through that pregnancy and i was able to you know have my baby but like i said in that first trimester i was always feeling like i was gonna see my period it was this close like this close i always feel like it's almost coming out and i'll be like going to the restroom and praying that i shouldn't see my i should it shouldn't be that it's my period and when i go i'm like oh thank god so it was just like that my whole first trimester and a little bit into my second trimester and later it kind of stopped so that's the reason why i said you know what um, I'm going to share this information with you guys because I did my research and um, this pregnancy, honey, I did not feel nothing like that at all because I avoided those fruits. And I'm about to share that with you guys now. So let's get into it. I have my cheat sheet, so I'm going to be looking on my in my notes just in case you see my eyes going back and forth. That's me just trying to look because I cannot remember everything that I did research on. So I just like wrote everything down that you know what? My brain ain't going to be struggling, trying to remember nothing. I'm going to just be looking at my book. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. <laughs> so today, I'm going to be sharing eight fruits to avoid um, when you're in your first trimester. And a little bit when you're in your second trimester, you may want to avoid it. But for me, my husband just told me, just avoid those fruits. Don't even try it. Don't even take it. Just avoid it. So that's what I'm doing. And my pregnancy has been going so good. I'm in my second trimester. I don't know if you guys can really see me. I'm really big right now. Like your girl is big. I'm I'm a big girl. When whenever I'm pregnant, which is this is my second pregnancy, I'm like always big. So I'm big. And y'all, I don't want to gain weight, but honey, I am really bigger than what I used to be. Um, when I had my first daughter, my first pregnancy, my highest I've been in my life was. 185 6 when i had my daughter i was like 185 that's a day before i i had her i, I remember clearly it was 185 but honey right now i am 190 one freaking 90 <laughs> and i'm freaking out this is my second trimester i'm already big i don't know what i'm gonna be when i'm done having this baby so Pray for me, but I'm not trying to fight. I'm not trying to, you know, watch what I eat. I'm going to just be eating because I cannot help it. This baby likes food. So I eat a lot in this pregnancy than any other than, or than my first pregnancy. Let's get into this video, right? <laughs> but um, the first fruit on my list that you have to avoid is papaya. Papaya is high in latex and this can cause uterus contraction which can cause bleeding and can even lead to miscarriage so you may want to avoid papaya papaya is not even my favorite fruit so i'm not even worried about papaya i don't even you know it's not something i usually eat in my first trimester i never i didn't eat that 
But the next one on my list I'm going to mention is what I was eating because I love it. So, so the second on my list is pineapple. And pineapple contains an enzyme which can lead to, which can result, which can soften the civic and lead to early labor. So, pineapple is my favorite but unfortunately i cannot have it so i am avoiding it like a mug like i'm not even looking at it i always i love pineapple because it helps me in digestion but unfortunately um i cannot have it so i did not have pineapple this um this pregnancy but last uh, pregnancy i was having pineapple because it's my it, like i said it's my favorite so i was having that as my snack did not know that that wasn't good for me so you guys please avoid pineapple avoid papaya and the rest that i'm gonna mention so the third on my list i'll be so i'm surprised that this is even there banana but i don't agree with that but it's good i share with um share with you guys what um what i found out rather than holding it back so so banana i'm just gonna read exactly what i found out what i found out about banana so um for women with allergies and diabetes or um gestational diabetes they should avoid banana this contains a latex like substance which can increase body heat and cause complications so that's the reason why banana should be avoided. But I don't know if people without that can avoid it. But for me, I think I still had banana in my smoothies. <laughs> like I said, I'm just going to share with you guys everything that I found out. So I don't know the conditions that you have. So it's best I share it so you guys can avoid it. And the next one on my list is dates. This can cause the body to overheat and may lead to contraction so um you can have one or two in a day but not too much because that can cause your body to overheat and co can cause complications or contractions so that's the reason why date is part of the fruit to avoid i don't even yeah date is a fruit right yeah it is so we don't want that and you know contraction may lead to miscarriage if you are in your first trimester or if you're not um you know due for delivery we don't want that at all so please avoid dates i don't even i don't care about dates so i'm like whatever i i don't care about it but the pineapple one was the one that kind of got me i'm like ah, oh. but um i avoided it watermelon is my fifth i'm already on the fifth one okay <laughs> watermelon is the fifth one on my list so watermelon is great in flushing toxins out of your body and this is not good when you're pregnant because this may expose your baby to various toxins so but if you're not pregnant then you can have that to flush toxins out of your body because toxins can cause um you know um, infertility as well so detoxifying yourself is a great thing because that can help um, you nourish your eggs and getting your body ready for conception so but when you're pregnant it's a it's advisable don't try to detoxify yourself to detox yourself uh, because you don't want to expose your baby to all those various toxins you have in you so that's the reason why watermelon is not even advisable for you to have when you're pregnant and the sixth one on my list is grapes i love me some grapes but honey i cannot have it i just be looking at my mom eating the grapes i'm like she's like you want some i'm like nah i'm good but i want some <laughs> so but um grapes can overheat your body and can cause um um uter ut uterus contraction so grip is one of them to avoid when you're in your first trimester for me i avoid all these things on my list while i'm pregnant i don't even care if i'm in my second or third trimester i ain't trying to have my baby early so i don't know if it's gonna affect me when i'm in my second 
um mid um end of my second trimester because the beginning part of your first, second trimester i'll say still avoid it but the end part of the second trimester i'm still avoiding it and my third trimester honey i'm gonna still be avoiding it because i do not want to have my baby early i want my birth my baby to be full term i don't want to think i don't want to like be greedy and want to eat everything and end up you know messing up myself so i say avoid everything that you know i mentioned but if you feel you're safe in your second trimester and third trimester you can go for it but in my opinion it's not even worth it so for me i am avoiding everything until when i give birth then i can start munching and having fun so but it is so like it is so surprising that you know you gotta avoid all those things that you need those are the nutrients you need for your body but there are some things that is in um those um fruits that can cause control uh, your your uterus to contract so we want to avoid it anyways peach is one of them that's my se number seven right <laughs> i believe so so too much of um pages can cause um your body to overheat and can cause bleeding and even miscarriage so you please 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 try and avoid that especially in your first trimester all the things i mentioned avoid them 100 percent in your first trimester the eighth one on my list is canned tomato canned food canned fruits please avoid them eat fresh fruits why because those food have a lot of preservative that can be very very toxic to our body and can affect a mother and a child so we don't want anything that's gonna you know in um put more toxins in us so you want to make sure you avoid it we are not trying to release no toxin we're trying not trying to get no toxin in we are just trying to stay healthy until when we are done so avoid canned food that's it period <laughs> so anyways those are the eight fru fruits to avoid um when you're in your first um first trimester and i'll say um a little bit into your second trimester i say avoid it so I have an add-on for you guys that may maybe one or two this i try not to um i try to believe it but i'm gonna share with you guys i have it on my list but i'm not i did not list it as something i want to talk about but i'm gonna talk about it because i want to help somebody so i'm gonna give you guys every information that i know and you guys decide on what you want to do <laughs> so I do not agree with this because I love me some smoothies and when I'm doing my smoothies I go for frozen foods so here you go frozen berries or all frozen foods fruits should be avoided um, because this can cause toxins for the woman and the baby I love me some frozen um, fruits because I, I, I don't, I love my, my, my smoothies to be frozen. So I love the fruits to be frozen. So the best thing to do is get your fruits fresh from Walmart or whatever, um, store that you have in your, um, in, um, whatever local store you have around you, get you some fresh fruit and cut it and put it in the freezer and it's gonna get frozen that's what i keep on telling myself like that's the best thing to do you know it you know it does the best thing to do so i always tell myself i have frozen frozen fruits in my fridge right now but i am scared to have it because i know i'm i'm if i if i have it because it's like exposing myself and my child to toxins so i just try to avoid it i have it in my fridge i feel like having it once in a while but i don't touch it i just look at them like mm, tempting so just avoid frozen um fruits i do not agree with this 
but i gotta do what is good for me and my child so i'm just gonna embrace it and stay away from it so that's what i've been doing <laughs> it is so hard to know that you got everything for smoothies and i love me some smoothies but i cannot have it at this point so please avoid it avoid it avoid it and this is not gonna be fruit but i'm gonna share with you guys because I believe this can help you hibiscus leaf hibiscus leaf should be avoided we usually call it back home zoborodo nigerians you know what i'm talking about you know it you know it you know it we love me uh, some zoborodo <laughs> so we usually make that in, into a drink put in the fridge honey it will be so cold and delicious so hibiscus leaves can um can cause the uterus to contract and can lead to miscarriage so please avoid a biscuit aka um zoborodo leave nigerians you know what i'm talking about i don't know if other country know what zoborodo is but we back home we call it zoborodo <laughs> avoid that when you're pregnant honey because that can cause your uterus to contract and can lead to miscarriage. So we want to avoid that. The last one, I'll get have another one again. <laughs> I just remembered the one that I know I was taking again when I had my daughter, when I conceived my daughter was raspberry iced, uh, raspberry leaf. They say raspberry leaf is great to help you shrink your uterus, especially those of us that went for, that had the fibroid, we took and they had, um, we and we had it taken out, and our uterus is huge, so we use the uh, raspberry leaf to shrink our uterus to become smaller again, to become um, a regular size. So, and it is um, research has shown that raspberry leaf helps um, mothers um that are having regular delivery to have contractions so they can have their baby um on time so that they don't have to like go through all the stress of labor and all of that unfortunately i don't have i don't experience i don't i haven't had the privilege to experience what that is i would love to have an option so that i can you know experience what labor um, is for me to you know have my baby naturally but i don't have that option like other people do because i had a myomectomy you guys already know my story i had a myomectomy for those of you that don't know and i had huge fibroids i think they were six or seven something crazy they were the size of a baby taken out of my uterus my uterus was huge so the doctor said um i need to Hopefully my uterus come back to normal so that I can come back to normal size so I can take um, conceive again. So I can conceive and have a baby. And he gave me some time, you know, for the uterus to heal and all of that. So I was taking the raspberry um, leaf. I was making it into a tea and I was drinking it and my uterus came back to normal size. And I took him for my daughter and um, I had her. But why I'm scared of, ras why I'm talking about raspberry, raspberry leaf at this point because I also read that it is great to take raspberry leaf in your first trimester. Raspberry leaf was part of what I was having in my daughter when I had my when I conceived of my daughter. I was having that. I was having pineapple. I was having all the crazy stuff. I was I was thinking I was helping myself, but I was feeling like I wanted to see my period. So I'll say my opinion. Just avoid raspberry, uh, raspberry leaf because from what research has said that it helps women um, in their third trimester when they're ready to deliver a baby. It helps for contraction so you can imagine if it helps in third trimester it's gonna help you in your first trimester to have a baby that you ain't ready for so that's what I think so just avoid it just don't think about it just don't think tw twice about it just avoid it I usually have that on a regular basis when after I had my 
C -cell, um, not C section. When I had my when I had my myomectomy, I was taking that like every every morning. So even when I had my baby, when I conceived of my uh, conceived my daughter, I was still having it because uh, when I did research, it says I'm good to take it, but. I'm like, uh, sometimes some research, I don't believe in it. <laughs> I'm like, it's human that wrote this. I'm going to have to do more research. So when you start doing more research, you're going to see more information. So in my opinion, taking raspberry leave at your first trimester is not, you know, is not even advisable. Because So if that is what it is, what it does, I believe it's going to want to do something to your uterus. In your first trimester so just avoid it that so that's that's the reason why i say some of this you just have to like do more research and look more into it even right now that i'm telling you guys what i found out i see i i see advice you guys still do more research because um i don't just sit on people's um information i do a lot of research i dig 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 until i find what i want to fine and if everything i'm hearing is the same thing then i'm like okay so still do your research um if you're doubting anything i've mentioned honey do your research and don't cut my neck off in the comment section don't come for me because i am just sharing what i what my research was about what i've read and all of that so do your research and avoid what you need to avoid in your first trimester it's not even worth it so this is going to be the end of this video i hope this was helpful before i go please do not forget to give me a thumbs up because this helps my channel to grow and those of you that are new to my channel hey 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 girl what's up can we be friends can we know each other can you hit on the subscribe button for me just just hit that red subscribe button for me honey it's not gonna cost you nothing but zero hit the subscribe button don't forget to hit on that bell because that bell is going to let you know when I post a video. And don't forget to like, 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 like. And do not forget to share this video with somebody that you think needs this information. Because this here, it's a game changer for me. It's really changed a lot for me, this pregnancy. I I haven't experienced all the crap that I was experiencing in my first trimester, in my first pregnancy, first trimester. Honey, this pregnancy has been like going smoothly, no problem. So please avoid, 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 avoid. And anyways, I am done talking. <sighs> I'm tired of talking. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you, 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 you. I hope to see you in my next video. I'll be watching out for you, okay? Bye.